they will not respond. What will you say? Okay, so that is it. And then when a song has text already, listen to this, very important. When a song that you are playing already has words to it, it is called absolute music. All of you say after me, absolute music. So absolute music is music that has words. So the opposite of absolute music is in absolute music. Say after me, in absolute. So in absolute music has no words, right? So if you go to a club or somewhere, don't go there. But if you go somewhere and you see that they are playing jazz, jazz or something, and nobody is singing, but they are playing instrumental music, it's in absolute. It's in absolute because you have to think about it to come out with what the meaning is. Does that make sense? You sit down and you listen to instrumental music. Uh, sometimes some of these classicals by Beethoven or somebody. There are no words to it. So you don't know what they are doing. All you know is that the sound is coming. So you have to think and imagine things. Maybe the music is talking about standing by the sea. Or maybe the music is talking about standing in the forest. But when a music has words, like, Lord, I lift your name on high. You can da, da, da. Once it has words, it's absolute because it tells you what the music is about, right? If you enter a church and they are saying, The Lord's my shepherd, our Lord. No matter how many instruments are used, you know that all the instruments and the forces are backing a word that says, The Lord is my shepherd. So it's the text that gives the music its drive, right? Now, why am I saying this? When we know a hymn to be absolute because it has text already, it means we have an idea of how the song must sound. You understand? How the song must make us feel. So when you sing Reverend Gadi Lacroix's song, you say, One cobo de wuche da da di da da, and you start weak, it's a problem. Because the song is calling us to go and tell the whole world, so at least the first one is already an absolute music. So, we all know how. So you can't do your own dynamics and say, Jesus, maybe there. Musu, if you understand the word, means uh, Musu. What is Musu? A curse. Yeah. But if you say, because it's absolute. The words have already dictated the dynamism of the piece. Am I making sense? Otherwise, if my grandmother who knows that hymn is listening to it and she is following the music, she is not listening to it as an inabsolute music because she already knows the text, so it's absolute to her. Now, where she is expecting that you should call the whole world to go and bore the root to the whole world, and then you are singing very soft, you are disturbing the meaning that she already has in her. Do you understand? So take note of these two things. Because you are a regimental band, you may be playing music that has no words. But whenever you play any music that has text already, follow the text to draw your dynamic markings. Because people already know the music. Okay. And then I think the last one is teamwork. Teamwork. I have talked about that already. Teamwork. Um, so we, we noticed that uh, most of you didn't have that teamwork spirit, but where the teamwork was working, it was very, very beautiful. And also, the discipline of the brigade, uh, I don't want you to lower the standard. For instance, some of the things I don't want, we didn't want to see is that people get on stage and they are not looking for the paper, the sheet that they are going to do, and somebody is looking through some things and that kind of thing. You represent the sharp side of the church, like the militaristic side. Of, and if you come and stand on stage and you can't find your it's as if you are not ready and all that. It doesn't befit a, a brigade band. So you should arrange all your, your papers and everything so that as soon as you get on stage, you know what it is that you are doing. You see, say, if you are sick and a doctor is coming to uh, uh, do a surgery on you and he gets there and say, oh, I've forgotten this one. Eh, where is, does anybody have a scissors here? You will get up and run away because you know that he's not a serious person. But as soon as he comes and he puts his strap on and he picks this one up and he picks that up, then you are confident. You know that he knows what he's going to do. 
you have set a stage for you. You get here, you dance and everything all right, and you get on stage. And then you are now looking for the sheets. You are now looking for the sheets. And people are watching you, that kind of thing. So with that said, you all did very well, and we are very happy. I'll give you a comprehensive report, um, because I'm so happy. So I'll take that upon myself. And I wrote some notes here. I'll write, I'll type out a report on each band, and I'll give it to your leaders so that they give it to you, and then through that you can improve. We have the max here, and we know who is first and who is nine, not last, because everybody did well. But we are not going to uh, do that. We will leave that with your um, officers, and then they will do that later on. Thank you very much, and God bless you. Thank you, sir. Oh, please, please, let me make it. Let's make it. Let's make it. Let's make it. Sergeant, a word from you. AMB. AMB. Yeah, you all did very well. And I'm surprised seeing uh, guys playing their musical instruments uh, like that. Uh, but uh, my boss has actually, has actually touched on so many things that I have here. So I will just go straight forward to talk about the ones he has not touched. Um, you know, uh, my grandfather's clock, the music, has a tempo marking. And in fact, uh, none of you uh, was able to meet that uh, tempo timing. Right? I hope you know that. You were not able to meet that. At the point in time, uh, a quarter has 168 as uh, its speed. So I was using a, a metronome up there, but I didn't get that. But you all did very well. Uh, band 2, the national anthem, who played the, uh, the snare drum? You didn't roll very well. Band two, the Sinel drama, you should work on your rolling. Uh, band two, your sound wasn't all that good. Uh, so the teacher must work on the players very well so that the next time you can come. Uh, the conductor, you were actually missing the time. Uh, uh, three, four should be three, four, 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 but uh, at a point in time you were not accurate. When I come to band three, you were also not able to get the time signature uh, and the tempo too wasn't all that good. Uh, band three, uh, my grandfather's clock is a song for, a solo work for euphonium, but you used tuba to play it, am I right? Which is very wrong. You didn't do well. Band four, uh, you didn't link uh, the hymns very well. The phrases of the hymns, uh, you were not able to link them very well. And when it comes to the national anthem, the ending has a writ. So, da 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 Uh, band four, uh, the conductor at a point in time, you, you were bending your knees. You were bending your knees. So please, next time, take note of that. Band five, my grandfather, uh, the, the song that you were supposed to play, uh, my grandfather's clock, uh, the soloist, you were supposed to stand, but you didn't do that. Right. Most of you two couldn't get the note C, that high note. Ah, you couldn't get it. The accompaniment was quite louder than uh, the solo work, which is not all that good. And band five, your euphonium was making noise, the fingering, the, the, the valves. 
it was make so it was actually adding a uh, different sound to what you were playing um, Band five, the tenor part of the national anthem got missing. The tenor part of the national anthem got missing. That is the third part of the national anthem. So you must take note of that. But band six, your tuning was very bad. I think my boss has already said that. Uh, one clarinet player was not in tune, and it was actually distorting the sound at a point in time. Uh, the Ephonium player did very well by not standing there like a log. He was actually moving himself, which was actually uh, nice. The conductor was also missing uh, the timing at a point. Band 7, the brass section was blasting. They were blasting. Bram, bram, bram. You know, it's a concert. You are not on parade. Even if you are on parade, you are even not supposed to uh, blast. You are blasting, which is not good. And the players were not responding to the conductor. The conductor was actually trying to bring you down at a point in time, but you were not looking at him. Uh, band 8. You also have the same problem as... Uh, band seven in terms of the brass uh, section blasting which is not good and uh, your euphonium player did very well i was actually listening to the sound yeah but that doesn't mean that uh-huh and the term the tempo for my grandfather's clock was also your problem you didn't follow the tempo Band nine, and band nine, you did well by linking the phrases of the hymns. You know, I've always been saying that uh, playing hymns on our musical instruments is very difficult than playing classical music. People don't know this. If you are asked to play a hymn as a band, it's always difficult because you are supposed to link the phrases. You are supposed to link the phrases. How to take breath is always a problem. People don't know that. So you must work on that. Your national anthem by nine, it was very slow. I don't know, I don't know whether you were playing it for 29 gun salutes or not. Uh, it was quite slow, which is not all that good. Uh, the songs were given to you. Please, uh, those who added things to the hymns, uh, please, the, ne next, uh, the next time you should just come and play what you were giving. Just come and play the hymns as you were giving. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Fellow officers, you've heard from them. One thing that rings through my mind is that they were not at the same table. Listen to the comments they are making. Professionals are speaking. Let's take them seriously and then work over it. Um, but uh, Secretary, do you have any announcement for us? This, from here, if you have not taken your meals, you take it. Be careful with your mouthpieces. Thank God, the two mouthpieces that I said, an officer sort of carelessly put it somewhere. So we have retrieved that. Thank God. Make sure your instruments are intact. The mouthpiece, the cases, and whatnot. Remember, tomorrow we are going to wear the same uniform. And Sunday, we are being tested how to handle our white. Thank you. Thank you, brothers and sisters. A and B. The second one. A and B. Thank you.
Uh, we have a bag here, a mobile phone, and an amount of money. The bag is here, the phone is here, the money is with me, but the owner is missing. So if you know you are missing, and this is your bag, come and see me for identification and collection. The owner of this bag is missing, but the bag is here. The bag is not missing, no, it's here. So that is that. Brethren, we've come to the end of the concert. Please, we are told somebody went to charge a phone with a dealer there. The dealer has closed. So the phone is with us. It's for the person come and identify it. Then we'll give it back to you. Thank you. Just as I said, we've come to the end of the concert, but that is not the end of the competition or the festival. We will continue tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock. When we leave this place, we have the whole evening for ourselves to rehearse. So when we get to the Methodist University campus. No band is supposed to move outside the campus. So find anywhere convenient for you and have your rehearsals there within the confines of the campus. The best you can do is to extend to the Wesley Grammar School. But don't move outside the gate. If you do that, you will surely be penalized because it is part of the guidelines governing this festival. So make sure you don't move outside the campus. We are going to take the evening meal, that's the supper, at the school. We decided to take it here thinking that the program will run through the night. But once we've ended the program very early, we have to go back, refresh, prepare ourselves for tomorrow. So we, we've asked the Ketra to bring the supper to the school so that we all take it over there. It's going to be a packed meal. So when you take it, you find a convenient place you sit and you enjoy the food. This evening, the AMB ICC office bearers will have a meeting. So please, all executive members of the AMB ICC, as well as AMB Ghana, will, we are going to have a meeting at 7 p.m. at the university. So please, let's all do well to attend. Okay. Uh, yesterday, There's an extension to the meeting uh, for our brothers and sisters from Nigeria. There was a sun president and then AMB Nigeria National Council Barriers. You are all supposed to attend the meeting as well as uh, coordinators of AMB Ghana, dozen coordinators of AMB Ghana and DYOs. 
you are all supposed to attend that meeting at 7 o'clock. There's an observation, but I'll leave that one to Brother Kramer to talk about. Thank you. Um, fellow officers and members of the brigade, yesterday we were, we, we were actually under pressure, but we felt there was a need for us to make sure that justice was done. But out of this, the result was very, very horrifying. Please, when I was a boy and went camp, the advice was that we should leave the place neater and we went to meet it. And that tradition is still on. But unfortunately yesterday, this morning, a worker of the university has to speak 